Well, you know, sometimes it's necessary to have a bedside commode or what I would call a potty chair. But anyway, the good folks over at Loyota sent this over for me to check out. So let's get it opened up and check it out. I've never had one, so we're going to learn how to put this thing together and see what it really looks like and see how strong it is. It's supposed to have like a 400 pound weight capacity. So that, uh, that's a pretty stout chair. All folded up nicely in here. Looks like we're going to have to put it together a little bit. This is some heavy, that's, oh, that's heavy. Looks like the legs are going to be adjustable. Have the little push pins right there so you can raise it up and down. We'll look further into that once we get it put together. Let's we'll speed it up a little bit so you won't get too bored. I'm going to slow enough to where you can see it, but uh, fast enough we're not going to get too bored. We'll move down here to the floor so we can work on this a little easier. Maybe some instructions are in here. There we go. The instructions are in the pot and an Allen wrench. Okay, it looks like we're going to build the frame. Instructions are not real clear. It's mainly just kind of pictures. So if you're good at following picture instructions, you're going to be in luck. Okay, this will go in like this, the solid pipe. We'll go into the pipe here. The smaller end will be facing up. We'll get this in there. And these are adjustable. You'll have three different levels, which will bring it, like if you have it like this, it'll bring it up closer to the back of the seat or further. Whatever you need. Right now, we're just gonna set it like on the middle hole right there. It's got these plastic caps in there that kind of helps take up the space and kind of a little gap filler, but don't take those off. Just work it, twist it, and it will go in. You just kind of have to work it in a little bit. You just work those in there. Like I said, there's three different adjustments. You got the first, second, and third one. We're going to put it in the center hole right there. Basically, that'll just put your uh, backrest closer to the back of your toilet seat. We'll just put our back on here now. That lined up. Make sure you got it straight a little bit. Might have to give it a little tap to get it go. But it will go. Then push your pins in. Get that down a little bit. Push that pin in and it'll slide on down. There you go. We have most of it put together already. Now we have these pieces here, which will be your armrest. It's like this is where we're going to get to use our Allen wrench. Have a little Allen screw in the end right here. Okay, take this out. We're into what I do with our Allen wrench. There it is. Take your Allen wrench. Take the screw out of the armrest here. Because we're going to have to put that back in. We're going to shove it in the hole right here and on the back side. I don't know if you'll be able to see it right there, but right up in here is where it'll go in and it'll screw back into your armrest. Has a washer on there. Don't lose your washer. Has a push pin right here, and that will be where you can turn it up and down. And we'll get that in there and it'll like this. I'll show you when I get over to the other side. You'll be able to see it better. Let me get this screw back in here. Well, actually, I'll just turn that around and show you right now. You just push the pin in, and then this will go up and down right there. So if you need to slide in from the bed, you can lower that. That's why they have that like that, so it's out of your way, and you can just slide over onto the toilet commode. Or the potty chair. Whatever you want to call it, we all know what it's used for. And if you can't make it to the bathroom for whatever reason, it would be good to have one of these, that's for sure.
may have just had surgery or something and can't get around real well. Or you just may not be able to get around by yourself that well. Anyway, they have put some like lock stuff on this screw. So it's really hard to get in there. So if you have some tools that might make it easier for you, um, you might consider using those. Might make your job a lot easier. So it's got this blue stuff on it. I guess it kind of, kind of like a glue. I don't know. Keeps it from unscrewing though. So once you get it started and get in there a little bit, it makes it's pretty hard to turn. I would. Uh, you can turn it with this Allen wrench. It's just a lot of work with that. So like I said, if you have other tools to use, I'd suggest using them. Well, we forgot our washer. Where did our washer go? Make sure you get that washer on there. And there we go. Those work nicely. A little stiff, but <laughs> it's because we got that screw in there tight. And that is pretty much it. Like I said, it holds up to 400 pounds. And this, I believe it was a 6.3 quart. You can just take this. And it's got slides right here. You can see those. And you will just slide this in just like that. Slide it into place. Now this does have holes in each one of these lips that stick out right here um i'm not real sure what those are for i know this bucket will sit down there they may have bags that would fit in here and uh, then it would lock it into place like that and then you could uh, lift that take your bag out of it and this would actually stay there but be clean because you have your bag I, no, i'm just saying that because i know they make bags for camping that uh, you uh, put your waist in shall we say but anyway there it is got a very comfortable seat actually that's not bad at all like i said you can lower these arms just push that pin in and that will lower down and then you can slide off to the side the legs are adjustable you just push the little pin right there and you can extend that leg out make it taller if you need to or keep it short the back is adjustable like we said earlier you can slide it in and out with the pins up underneath there where we looked earlier very nice little chair this would definitely be nice if you were not able to make it to the restroom for whatever reason. Hey, if you got any value out of this review, go ahead and hit the thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. I definitely appreciate it. Well, here it is. I, and it's not real heavy either. You'll be able to move this around. Um, of course, not if you're the person that's needing this, but you could have some assistance to move this around. But yeah, you can slide right off, right off the chair, or right out of bed, whatever you needed to. You know. It's definitely a thumbs up, especially if you are in the condition to need this. Yeah, here it is, thumbs up. Hey, I am an Amazon associate and any qualifying purchases that you may make through any of my Amazon links, I will receive a small commission from. Thanks for watching.